Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here in this uh, integrated math lesson. The integrated math one is uh, solving equations using parentheses. So uh, here's our common core strand for our teachers and here we're going to solve equations that involve parentheses. So how can we decide uh, which, um, which method to use first when we use parentheses, okay? So I'll give you several examples. Let me, uh, but before we do anything, let's uh, access some prior knowledge. It's a distributive property. Everybody's done the distributive property before, but just to remind you guys, if you have a number out in front of the parentheses, it means that number times everything in the parentheses. So it would be A times B. That's what this says right here. And this sign goes in the middle plus a times c. So I, I usually put little um, little arrows up here, a times b and then a times c. That's what this says right here. And, and you can write it as a b plus a c. And if there's a minus sign, then just make sure there's a minus sign right here, a b minus a c. Okay. So for example, you guys, if I, if I had this 5 out in front of the parentheses, it'd be 5 times 3x and then uh, this minus sign, 5 times 7. So here's 5 times 3x minus 5 times 7 and then clean it up. 5 times 3x is 15x, and 5 times 7 is 35. If you had just a negative sign out in front of the parentheses, it's the same as having a negative 1 out in front of the parentheses. So it would be negative 1 times uh, this right here, 2x, and then negative 1 times this 5 right here. And don't forget there's a minus sign. This minus sign is this minus sign right here. So, so uh, negative 1 times 2x, that's what this says, minus right here, negative uh, 1 times negative 5, okay? And uh, this negative just means make change all the signs in the parentheses. So this positive 2x becomes a negative 2x, and this negative 5 right here will become a positive 5. So if you see a negative, all you got to do is go through the parentheses and change the signs, and then there's no more parentheses, okay? So uh, solving linear equations may take more than two steps, so start by simplifying one or both sides of the equation uh, if possible, you guys, and then then we use the order of operations, PEMDAS, backwards and isolate our variable. Let's try some of these. So if you're a teacher, I would I would pause these and then go over these with your students. Let them try them first. I'm not going to in this video. I'm going to go ahead and combine those like terms. 8x minus 3x is 5x. So um, uh, when I subtract, I subtract 8 minus 3, so I have 5x. And then now I'm going to get rid of this minus 10. Remember, PEMDAS is used backwards. So I do all the addition and subtraction first, not last. So to get rid of a minus 10, I gotta do the opposite and plus 10 to both sides. So let me plus 10 to both sides right there. 20 plus 10 is 30, okay? And then divide by five, and five goes into 36 times right there, okay? Nice and easy, all right? Let's try this one here. Okay, here, I'll show you a couple of ways. The first way is I'm gonna use the distributive property. I'm gonna distribute the two through. Okay, so 2 times uh, this guy, and then plus 2 times this guy. That's what this says right here. This is 2x right here. This is going to be 6, so I'm going to write it as 2x plus 6 right there. Now I'm going to get rid of the plus 6. I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. Okay, and then 8 minus 6 is 2. And then the division property, I'm going to divide both sides by this blue 2 right here. So I'll divide both sides by that 2. And then you get x equals 1. Let me show you a different way real quick, you guys. If you guys can see that uh, this 2 right here goes into this 8 right here. Can you see that those two are both divisible by 2? What I'm going to do is divide both sides of the equation right off the bat by the number out in front of the parentheses right here. Since 2 goes into that, just get rid of it by dividing both sides by 2. Watch what happens, you guys. The 2's cancel, and since there's nothing left, I'm just left with x plus 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then subtract 3 from both sides to get rid of that plus 3, and 4 minus 3 is 1, so you get x equals 1, you get the same answer. Okay, whichever way you feel more comfortable with, I think most people are most comfortable with using the distributive property, but for me, you guys, this way is, this way is quicker, but it doesn't matter. Whatever way you want to do it, that's great, and, and sometimes teachers like to do distributive property more also. Okay, on this one here, you guys, I have 2 plus the quantity, 4 plus x equals 12. If it's just plus with nothing out in front of those parentheses right there, you can just drop those parentheses right there. If nothing's in front of it, then nothing's going to change it if you drop those parentheses. Okay, now I can combine the like terms, 2 and 4. 2 and 4 gets me 6. And then now I'm going to subtract that blue 6 from both sides. And then uh, you get x equals 6 right there. Okay, how about this guy? Hey, here's a negative in front of the parentheses. 
So I'm going to treat it as negative 1. I'm going, to, I'm going to just go ahead and distribute the negative through the parentheses. Okay, so when I do that, um, it changes the sign. So this uh, positive 3x becomes a negative 3x, and this plus 2 becomes a minus 2. So distributing the negative through just changes all the signs in there. Okay, now how do we get rid of that minus 2? We've got to do that first. So we're going to go plus 2, plus 2. Okay, now be careful, you guys. Um, not, well, not yet. Okay, so I get negative 3x equals 13. And I know you're thinking, hey, I'm, it doesn't go in evenly. And that's okay. Uh, we're going to get a fraction on this, you guys. You're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Okay, now these are going to cancel on this side. It's tacky. It's mathematically tacky to leave the negative in the denominator. So you can either put it in the numerator, or in most cases, they just float it out in front of the fraction right there. So you get x equals negative 13 thirds. This negative gets floated out in front. Don't leave it downstairs. It looks tacky. Okay, if you were in my class, I probably ding you a point right there because it's just you'll never see anybody do it that way you leave it in the denominator okay so just just float it out in front right there okay all right so here's this problem again I just moved it over there right there okay and I'm gonna rewrite the problem again and I'm gonna do, uh, treat this as a negative one right there okay so let me put a negative one right there instead of the negative okay and then I'm gonna divide both sides by this negative one because this side is uh, divisible by negative one and I get um, uh, when I divide oops I didn't even cancel that let's see let me cancel that right here um, uh, this guy this negative one and this negative 1 cancels, so I'm just left with the 3x plus 2 right there, okay? And so when those cancel right there, that's not going to be there on the next slide, um, uh, I'm going to get rid of the 2 right here. Now be careful, you guys. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides. Negative 11 minus 2. Remember, remember our number line lesson that we did? And, and if we did negative 11 minus 2, that's the same as negative 11 plus negative 2. Here's 0. Negative 11 is way over there. And then plus negative 2 would be that way some more, you guys. It would be at negative 13, okay? A lot of students want to make, get it to be 9 or negative 9. It's negative 13 when we're doing that, you guys. Negative 11 minus 2 is negative 11 plus negative 2. Okay, and then uh, we're going to divide both sides by this 3 right here. And when you divide by 3, I get uh, x equals 13 thirds. You get the same answer right there, okay? Whichever way you're more comfortable with, you guys. I'm, I'm suspecting... Most people want to do the distributive property, but you don't have to if this number out here can go into this number right here. Okay, you can get rid of the parentheses right off the bat. Okay, here, I'll do both ways on this one. First, I'll do the distributive property. I'll distribute this 2, 2 times 3x, 2 times 4. That's what this says right here. So this is 6x, and then this is 8 right here. Okay, 6x minus 8. All right, now I'm going to go plus 8 plus 8 on both sides, and I get uh, 6x equals 24, and then 6 goes into 24 four times. Okay, here's another way, you guys. Look, 16 is divisible by 2, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Okay, look, I get 3x minus 4, the 2s are gone, equals 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay, so I've got to get rid of this minus 4, so I'm going to go plus 4 plus 4. Okay, and then 3 goes into 12 four times, same answer. Okay, all right, let's try uh, uh, this guy right here. Quantity 4x minus 5 plus 9 equals 12. Okay, nothing in front of the parentheses, so let's just drop them, you guys. They're there to confuse you a little bit. If nothing's in front of the parentheses, you can just drop them. All right, now I'm going to combine like terms. Negative 5 plus 9. Okay, if I go to negative 5, that would be this way to 5 that way, and then plus 9 would be, I'd go back to the right. So there's 5 back to the right, and I need 4 more. That would take me to um, 4 right there. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4. Okay, I just combine those like terms right there. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of this plus 4, so we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. All right, and then it, uh, 12 minus 4 is 8, and then divide, and we get x equals 2. All right, let's try one more, you guys. Okay, this one uh, gets kind of involved. Here I have to use the distributive property. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute this 2 through. Okay, so when I do that, I get, um, uh, I get 7x plus and 2 times this is 2x, 2 times this is 12. So 7x plus 2x plus 12. Okay, now I'm going to combine like terms. 7x and 2x is 9x. All right, and then we're going to subtract off that blue 12. So there's a subtraction of the blue 12, and 39 minus 12 is 27. And then divide by 9, 
and then 27 divided by 9 is 3. Alrighty guys, I hope this helps you guys. Take care.